So now here comes an example question, right? If for example, I said to you, well, let's try an exponential function with a base of two. So maybe you want to jot this down with me. If I considered two to the power of x, if I wanted to find the derivative of this, what would I do? Now, in much the same way as you saw, if I can dress up something weird as something familiar, then I can work with it, right? Can you see, we know how to differentiate when it's e to the power of something. This is not <laughs> e to the power of something. But if I can make it look like that, then I can differentiate it, right? So what I want to do is I want to try and... Um, this is my question, right? How do I write... 2, like that's the base that's there, but I want to write it in terms of e. If there was an e there, I'd be okay. Like even weird things with e, I can deal with them, but I've got a 2 there. So I want to write 2 in terms of e. That's the question, okay? Now, I gave you these three kind of to like nudge you into thinking about how to rewrite questions. This is the last piece of the puzzle here, and you're like, why is that, why is that there, right? So, do you see to get from here to here, you used logs, right? And then your calculator could handle it from there, whichever way you went, okay? We're going to do much the same thing here. Um, if an exponential is like a, a lock, then a log is like the key, and vice versa, okay? So, what I want to try and do is say, well, how do I connect these two numbers with a log, right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say log base something, and I'm going to give that a name. I'm going to call that like some number k, all right? Now, I'm going to connect these two together. Which one of these do you think would be a nicer base to choose? Think about what your calculator can do. Is, is two a base that your calculator can handle? Not without like fiddling around, right? But it can handle it if it's e. So I'm going to put e as the base and then 2 up here, okay? Now, you know how you went from an exponential here to a log equation? We're going to do the same thing but in reverse. So have a think for a moment. I'm going to let you actually, I'm going to give you like 15 seconds to jot this down and then think about what would this look like if I rearrange things. I want an exponential looking equation rather than a log equation. Can you take a second to, do you think you have an idea of how it would be written or you're not sure? Would it be like similar to that? Yeah, it's very, very similar, right? So do you remember how I said like, oh, the base here becomes the base here? So the base here is, yeah, very good. So I'm going to write uh, E, very good. So then these just swap sides, yeah? That's equal to two, okay? Now, even though you're like, Mr. Will, I haven't, I haven't done very much here, like, what's, what's the point? Why, why did I do this? This is actually the key. You just wrote 2 in terms of e. Do you see that? 2 is e to the power of this number. Except, uh, I need another color. <clears throat> k is just this, apparently. Do you see that? That's k. So therefore, I can write this, now this bit's a little bit tricky, right? I can say that 2 is equal to e to the power of all of that. Now, because this is like, it's a long way of writing it, I'm going to use a lazy way of writing it, which is with that n. Um, the n stands for natural, and it's the same button you see in your calculator, right? Ln. Now, I'll admit, this looks really weird, okay? You're like, Mr. Wu, isn't 2 a much nicer way to write this than all of this mess, okay? I'm going to say why we're doing this for two reasons. Number one, the goal that I set out for, right? I've written 2 in terms of e, so this will help me differentiate. But there are other ways to see this, right? For example, if I said to you, um, 0 0.9 repeater. I don't know if you know about this thing, 0 0.9 repeater is a weird number, okay? Uh, it's, you know, 0 0.9999, and they go on forever, right? Except there's actually a much more common way of writing this number that's more familiar, okay? Um, I don't know if you know what a third is equal to. Do you know what a third is as a decimal? 0 0.3. 0 0.3, Peter. Right? So in order to get 
this, like to get from 0 0.3 repeater to 0 0.9 repeater, all you have to do is multiply it by 3. So if I multiply this by 3, that means I also multiply this by 3. Is that okay? So on the right hand side, I've got 0 0.9 repeater. What do I have on the left? It's a bit weird, right? You're like, how is this the same as this? It looks different, but if you want to think about it this way, some people say like, this has to be smaller, right? This has to be smaller than this, because look, it starts with a zero, right? But if you say like, hey, tell me what's the difference between these? If you said, oh, 0 0.0000001, something like that, wherever that is, it means this number stops, but it doesn't stop, it goes on forever. So it's like, these are the same thing. These are the same thing. This is just a weird way of writing it. But here's why it's going to be useful. We want 2 to the x. So to get from 2 to 2 to the x, I'm going to raise both sides to the same power. Power of x. Is that okay? E to the log 2. Okay. Hmm. Do you know what to do with index laws when you've got something with a power and you raise it to another power? What happens to the indices? Yeah, you just multiply them, yeah? So it's actually quite easy to handle. It's just going from e to the, I guess, like, log 2 times x. Now, can you reach for your calculator for me? Can you punch in log 2 for me? What does it give you? Yep, that's right. Yeah, fantastic. So I'm going to call it 0 0.7, right? So this, maybe you want to jot down with me, this is roughly e to the 0 0.7x. Now the reason why I highlight that is because this log 2 looks weird, but it's just a number. It's about 0 0.7, okay? So therefore, when I go to, I've got 2 to the x on this side, right? When I go to differentiate, that's what I'm trying to do here, right? If I try and differentiate one side, 2 to the x, all I'm doing is I'm differentiating this side here, which is e to the power of about 0.7x. But I'm writing it in this way because that's exact. Um, I should put this in brackets so you don't mix those up, okay? Do you remember what happens when you differentiate something like this? We had to use chain rule, but I'm not sure if it's still it's from last week. Do you remember? Fine, let me give you an easier example. If I differentiated something like that, would you know what to do with it? I can refresh your memory, okay. So here, we treat it as kind of like there's an inside part and then there's an outside part. So we differentiate each one, one at a time. So first we just look at this part up here and we say, what's the derivative of 3x? When you differentiate 3x, you just get? Yeah. It's ringing bell, yeah. You just get three. And then when you differentiate the rest of it, it's e to the power of something, which is just e to the power of something, right? We just, we saw that earlier, right? So you just get this. So at the moment, I don't have 3, I've got like 0 0.7 or log 2. So when you differentiate it, just like this 3 came out the front, this log 2 is going to come out the front. Is that okay? And then the rest of it stays the same. e to the log 2 x. Okay, now you've done a lot of work here. There's just one last step. This is us differentiating two to the power of x. But did you notice there was this, um, this funny spot where I rewrote it in this weird way, this thing here. Do you see that this, it appears right here again. Do you see that? Yeah. That is the same as that, they're identical. So therefore this is just two to the power of x times log 2. So therefore I can sort of write this in a much neater way and I can say the derivative of 2 to the x is 2 to the x multiplied by log of whatever that base happened to be. That's the result we're trying to prove. Look, this is an exponential function with another base and you just differentiate it. And in fact, it didn't have to be two. I chose two because um, it's a nice number. You could have chosen three. You could have chosen five. Um, anything would have worked. So in fact, I can make this any number if I call it like, I don't know, uh, uh, 
a for any number, it's a to the x log a. And what's nice about this is that we already know that this works because if you put in e, this is the one we already know about, right? So you can put a big box around this if you like, right? If we put in the number e, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x log e. But that log, right? That's log base e. So if it was log base e of e, that's just equal to 1. e to the power of 1 gives you e. So therefore it's like, oh, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x times 1, which is, we already knew that, right? It just sort of confirms what we had before, okay? 